In STAD Pro, play elements can be created to represent any type of surface element, such as walls or slabs. Any loads applied to the plates, such as pressures or point loads, will be distributed to the corner nodes for each plate. But what if you have a series of plate elements being supported by a network of beams and columns? For forces to transfer from the plates to the interior members, they must share common nodes. In this video, we'll discuss a few modeling techniques that you can use in STAD Pro to ensure that the loads applied to your finite element mesh are distributed to the appropriate supporting members through the analysis. So the first option we're gonna take a look at is to model your finite element bay one at a time using one of the add plate tools or also generate mesh tools. The reason we need to go and look at one bay at a time using these tools is because we want to ensure that these finite element mesh is connected to the interior columns as well as the interior beams through common nodal locations. So let's go ahead and activate the Create Mesh tool. We'll click along the perimeter of one bay at a time and then enter in our meshing parameters. To complete this modeling technique, we're going to infill each of these areas with a finite element mesh and we're going to take a look and make sure that we coordinate our nodal locations from one plate mesh to the next. The second option is to model the finite element mesh using parametric models. Parametric models allow you to model surfaces by automatically generating a mesh from a set of parameters. During the meshing process, STAD Pro will automatically consider existing nodes within the surface boundary to ensure proper force transfer. To access this area of the program, we can select the parametric models icon and we can create a new parametric model. And with this method, we would only be required to click along the boundary of our overall surface. Once you select your boundary, you can go ahead and enter in all the appropriate meshing parameters and then click OK. Now these meshing parameters can be modified before committing this mesh to the program and you can also add additional density points or openings. At this point, let's go ahead and merge this mesh to the model and we're going to notice that the model now contains that finite element mesh, and we can see that we will have proper force transfer since the beams along the perimeter have been segmented and the mesh is connected to the tops of the interior columns. The last option is to model the finite element mesh as a surface in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. During the meshing process, when the analytical model is created, STAD Pro will automatically consider the existing nodes within the surface boundary to ensure proper force transfer. Once the analytical model is built by the STAD Pro Physical Modeler, you'll notice that all of the nodes within the finite element mesh are connected together and attached to the interior beams and columns. This again will ensure proper force transfer. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.